Here is a good four axis part uh, created in Alibre. So we'll bring it into Easy Mill. Top view reveals that we're not in position to rotate around the X axis. So I'm just going to go to Edit, Rotate Y. On the right hand side, we're going to type in an angle of negative 90. Place a window around your part. Top view. Next, we'll create a work step. 3D Machining Wizard. We're only going to rough in this video. Finishing is pretty straightforward after this. Change to a ball end mill. 330 seconds. Let's place an angle on the tool of 10 degrees. Z step as we cut into the work will go with 50 thousandths uh, plunging. I'll leave a finish allowance. Now we're going to select where we're roughing. We're just going to rough one section and we're going to rotate and machine all of them. Assuming that this has already been machined on a lathe, you can see we're cutting a lot of air. So we need custom stock. We're going to create a cone. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to geometry, circle center and edge. But before I do that, I need to be on the geometry plane. So we're going to switch over the coordinate system to side. If I use the top view, you can see now we can construct geometry. Center, edge. Now to pick up the center, I'm just going to use a line at two points so I can snap to the middle of the line. Now I need to know the dimensions of those circles. So we're going to check radius on the back side. On the lower right hand corner, you can see the radius of arc or circle is 1.909. Now we'll find out the front circle is 1.47. We're going to go to surfaces, standard. Now you can only create a surface in our Mill Pro, or you could have made the surface in a Libre, either way. So we're going to use a cone. I'm just going to call this stock SRF for when we use our simulation. Enter first radius. That would be 1.909. And we'll pick the center point. Now it's asking me to pick the second radius and center. So the radius is going to be 1.47. And I'm just going to type in XYZ0. And there is our cone. Now to machine the stock, I've got to go into the work step. Check stock milling. Now we need to add the new surface we created to the work step. And you do that by going to check surfaces. Then in the list box here, we're just going to pick our stock SRF. We'll change our coordinate system back to the world. And for viewing the toolpath, I'm just going to blank or hide the surface. Machining, verify. Okay, you can see that it wants to machine the stock that we created, or at least that boundary. We have the tapered toolpath, that's what we're after. But let's create a boundary box for the tool to be contained. So I'm going to go to Curve, New Curve, 
we'll use linear. And if I go to a top view, let's just move this a little bit. Now to add that to our work step, we just go down to path where there's a question mark, and select our curve, verify our machining once again. That looks like we're good to go. So now I need to index and make a number of copies. So we're going to go to machining, work step. I'm not creating a new one, so we're going to hit cancel. Then we're going to go to verification, indexing around X. We'll make 10 copies of an angle of 36 degrees. Verify. Now let's look at it in 3D. But let's go to the stock setup. We're going to have to change this to custom stock, which is named stock SRF. Uh, that's the key to custom stock, is the name. Now I'm going to hit auto setup. Hit OK. And a 3D preview. And there you have it.